everybody it's Vanessa again hope all is well I just have one question and I hope somebody can answer me besides being a smart behind and getting scientific on me but why is it so hot why is it so hot you can't even go outside because you can't breathe okay and then we have to wear masks and by the time that our car air conditioner works we're already at our destination so I don't know guys, but I'm hoping winter gives us some loving down here in South Florida because it is hot. Anyway, glad you're here with me and you joined me. Um, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time with me because this is my second time with you. Um, please, please subscribe, comment, share, uh, tell your friends, and I hope you continue to go on this journey with me. This morning I woke up pretty early about 7.30, asked my husband, do you want to ride? Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to go do the groceries and do things that I need to do. And at the moment I said Dollar Tree, he told me no. So I said, okay, fine. I'll go by myself. I mean, six hours later, I, I made it back home. But I did make two other stops. That counts. Anyway, let's get on with the haul. Today I did uh, Dollar Tree. I did um, Dollar General. I actually stopped by Michael's real quick, but they were closed for some unknown reason. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, okay, so we all know, for those that follow me on Instagram, uh, in case you don't, my name on Instagram is, if I, if I can, I should. I keep saying if I could, I should, but it's not. It's if I can, I should. So follow me on Instagram. I would love, love to have you follow me there. I put a lot of videos. Um, I put a lot of photos of things that I find. Um, you know, those little fun finds at uh, all of the different shops that I go to. Anything that has to do with dollar, I'm all about it, as many of you should be. And that's why I do this here. So let's get on uh, here with the food. So I'm going to start with food. Uh, many of you already know know my son adores these crackers they're I guess a dupe if you want to call it to cheese it but my son really loves them when I first gave it to him he was like I'm not eating that that's like fake um, that's an off-brand well every time I go he says mom please bring me back those cheese crackers so of course I bought two packs for him then I've been seeing this I have my eye on this unfortunately I have a sweet tooth and I wish I did not but I do and this is four afforded flavor uh, sorted flavors I'm sorry strawberry orange green apple and grape um, if any of you have had it please comment below and let me know what you think of them because I will try them maybe I will try it right now but then what if I can't speak because because like my teeth are gonna get stuck and all that good stuff so mm, no I'll wait, I'll wait I'll wait just in case all right I'm addicted to these unfortunately these are some caramel coconut uh, candies uh, they're called coconut tips they're gluten-free that should matter that should count people um, anyways it's really good a good little treat I don't want to talk about the sugars or none of that stuff because it's not worth it because it's not worth it just, just just don't let's not talk about that part I found this one also I saw a lot of the other ladies um, on YouTube are picking these up saying that they're really good that they do taste like watermelon I love candy uh, watermelon and lemon anything so I picked it up and I will see what um, what that tastes like please comment if you ate that already and my son drives me bonkers I mean these are old school uh, candies that you can find a lot of old school candies at Dollar Tree um, and for a dollar it's not bad this is I don't know how many packs probably four or five packs of them but as a little treat here I'll, I'll do it I'll give it to him he's been dying for me to do this video so he can take his candy with him and then these chips here popcorners the crunchy and wholesome popcorn snack uh, this is non-GMO product, never fried. You know, something that I always go by. Um, if I look at the shelves, if I look at the shelves and I see that one brand has a lot less of them on the shelf, as in you got to dig all the way in the back to get the product, most likely it's a good product. Tastes good. It's probably good for you. It's worth the money. So I saw that these, including this one, 
was really low on inventory so i said why not um looks like it's a healthy brand i don't know much about it as yellow corn sunflower oil whey not that many ingredients actually about six ingredients which is better than a lot of other brands that have a bazillion uh, ingredients in them so I'm gonna try it I think that's it for food I think that's it for food okay so some fun finds that I found uh, on my little trip so you know I'm all I'm all about finding fun things so uh, I actually love to read. I love to read. I don't like having to read on a tablet, on a computer, none of that good stuff. I want a book. I want a book. I want a hard back book. And I'm always struggling with dieting, going back and forth. And I found this book for a dollar at Dollar Tree. If you can see right here, the price was $27 once upon a time. Oh, actually, no. For U.S., it's $25.95. Canada, it's $27.95. Uh, but you know what? I said, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this book. So it's always good to be informed, have little tips that you don't maybe you think you know, but you really don't know about. And then this one's an interesting one. Um, I have posted a, a photo of all of these books that I found. It was a whole shelf that many Dollar Trees are doing right now. And uh, for some reason, they're making it there. They just didn't sell whatever. They had overstock. And um, one of my followers um, saw it. Actually, her name on Instagram, and I think you should follow, is Thrifty Girl. 007 and she saw the photo and she spotted a book that she's been wanting and she says she cannot find it at any of her dollar trees so i said you know what i'm gonna pick it up i don't even know who this girl is i don't know where she lives i don't know any of that but i inboxed her and i told her i got you the book uh send me a p.o box i mean i know that's kind of weird and freaky for somebody just to send you their address so um send me a p.o box and i will mail you this book and She's been wanting this book right here, which is Good Hair for All, The Dry Bar Guide. So, you know what? Yeah, you can go online and find all these different tricks and all that good stuff. But for what? I love a book. I mean, read, people. Do some reading here. Everything is just video, video. Like I'm doing right now. But everything is video, videos. But, you know, they give you little tips. So, I hope, I hope, I hope that thrifty girl will enjoy it and she will be sending me over um her p.o box very soon so that is that i also have um this little look at this look at this how cute is this a little makeup bag uh you could put pencils in here whatever it may be but that is too cute for a dollar they had watermelon one i think also a couple of other little ones but i had to pick this up i'm sure i have something I can put in here uh, what else do we got lint rollers right lint rollers everybody and I got a bonus thank you very much I got me a little bonus pack right there and then this was like the treat of the day this was the treat of the day because who can find the pump anywhere who can find the liquid anywhere that's right that's right that's right dollar tree has these so at least the dollar tree i found and it's pure wipes it's a quantity of 10. i've never seen wipes before so i thought it was pretty awesome to carry in your purse uh in your car uh keep one at work your kids your husband everybody needs to be carrying these things around so that was great to find that also i've seen others um speaking about t-shirts and i found a t-shirt a a dollar and it's actually by hanes by hanes so you know you can mix and match you don't have to buy a package um as they sell them at wherever uh you go to so i bought black and i bought a white one for my husband he doesn't know yet so we got that going on and then I found me a little bucket I'm gonna be using for crafts um, painting it maybe definitely painting it but using it maybe for something with the fall and then you know moving it over to Christmas but you know these little buckets that they have at Dollar Tree are pretty cool um, and for a dollar you know you really can't beat it 
you guys have seen on my Instagram again in case you need it my Instagram is if I can I should follow me there I've been buying a ton of socks for my husband and for my sons um, these socks are super cute uh, my son is gonna be studying to be a firefighter soon and I saw a fire hydrant why not so I bought that super adorable what else do we got oh for projects so we got the um, pipe cleaners you know I'm gonna need this for wreaths that I'll be making soon also we've got look how adorable these things are look at these little sunflowers for projects so i'll be incorporating these in my wreaths as well um what else do we got okay so i love these um i feel that you know it's something that you can always use uh to decorate especially but chalk writers Okay, the colors I'm hoping are going to be pretty vibrant. Um, I have little signs all over my home where I write little hopefully inspiring and uplifting messages, especially to my sons. And now that I'm a grandma, I'm hoping to continue that with Jace as well. We also got a double-sided tape, which for many projects that is very helpful. Um, and these, these little, these little cubes are adorable they are uh so handy when you're doing different projects instead of using the rounds you can use these squares uh to lift up um whatever project you're doing i actually use these to do a little uh soap uh holder dispenser for my kitchen and i use these as the legs uh so i'm going to be using these also on a project for uh the fall as well so picked up these two Glue sticks, always very importante. We need some glue sticks, not bad. It's a pack of 10, I, oh, 20, a pack of 20 for a dollar. Pearls, I found these pearls. Uh, they actually have the little holes, so if you wanna string them along somehow, you can. So I bought these. Let's see what I do with this. Scissors, scissors at dollar. And it's, look, it's Westcott. This is a good brand. Of scissors so you know a dollar can't beat it what else do we got from down the tree okay I'm a fanatic for post-it notes I love post-it notes I love stationery I love pens um, and so I found this and this was pretty cute so I can take it with me to work and I can have it there and add on to my collection of stuff so this was a pretty interesting find at uh, Dollar Tree. I found these little lights and I use these as my lighting sometime, not bad. So I have these, look how cute. It does require batteries. I think it's three batteries, double A, but look at this. You can use this for your lighting y'all for when you're doing selfies or pictures or whatever it may be. So I picked up two of these at Dollar Tree. Ta-da and i picked up tissue paper look at how pretty this tissue paper is okay i mean it, everything for me is details details it's all in the details so even though i know that this is going in the garbage i know that when the person sees it their eyes open up and think wow that is so nice so i picked up this tissue paper but this tissue paper i've been looking for it i saw it on a craft that um on doll i'm sorry on um instagram the person's name uh, is dollar tree dot goodies the number five so dollar tree dot goodies five she did a diy with this pumpkin okay and then she used are you ready are you ready for this look at this look at this tissue paper so I told her I was going to be on the hunt for this tissue paper so I can do the same thing. It was so pretty, delicate. So I'm going to be going for that. So we got these different tissue papers in this package. And what else do I got? Oh, okay. So I did say I went to a couple of places today. So that's it for Dollar Tree. And then I have... Um, Walmart. I went to Walmart today as well. And I picked up these cotton these picks were 97 cents i think it was or 99 cents how pretty are these with the burlap very very detailed and for 
99 cents, you can't beat it. I picked up three of those. Like I said, I'm gonna be working on some wreaths. And I also picked up a couple of these eucalyptus picks. Very nice for projects. And these lamb ears, lamb's ears picks. They were also 97 cents. I picked up four of these. So those are going towards my, you already saw this. I got another one of those. Paint, 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 paint. So I picked up some Apple Barrel Warm Buff paint at Wally Mart. And also some Waverly Chalk paint in the color Cashew. I'm all about uh, natural colors. I like the grays as you see, the browns, the beiges. So. These are the colors I'm going for. And I also picked up these brushes so I can do the bases um, of, you know, whatever I'm painting with this brush, it makes it more easier and quicker to complete. And I did forget my last uh, thing that I bought a Dollar Tree, yeah. These little tubs, look at these tubs. I think they're so cute. You can use these for, um, keep thinking parties but like right now we can't even have a party you can't even have get-togethers like you're just trying to be safe and like you know it is what it is for the moment but I'll have it for the future you know you could put little water bottles with some ice um, or you can use it for a DIY um, you can store stuff in it but it is a pretty nice size and I got two of those at Dollar Tree they had them in multiple colors as well so guys, I think that's it for this haul. My next haul will most likely be um, fall items. Uh, so I can start decorating. Uh, you know, here in Florida, there is no such thing as seasons per se. So it's always just season hot. So I'm going to um, decorate our home, do the best we can, try to liven things up compared to, you know, what everything that's been happening within so many months already. I mean, just so much bad news going around this being election year, uh, so many political problems and arguments and this time to lighten things up around here. So I want to say uh, thank you for watching and I hope you share my videos with others. I hope you talk about me and I hope that I get to hear from you. Don't forget my Instagram and, um, Again, please have a safe, safe day, and I hope to see you soon. Take care and have a great, great day.